So this cool little device is called the Hack Motion. It measures your wrist angles throughout the whole of your swing. We're just going to solely focus on extension or cupping and flexion and bowing of your wrists throughout the swing. So let's give it a go. So this is the chart you get presented after you hit a shot. So top half is extension or cupping and the bottom half of the chart is flexion or bowing. Using the hack motion has revealed that I have a stable extension to flexion style swing. So let's have a look at my swing. So as you can see, it's very linear line. That means to say my wrist is very stable. During the downswing, the left wrist is gaining more flexion or bowing. While at impact, the left wrist has stabilized the amount of flexion, grating the club face to be aiming at the target for a greater amount of time. From the data collected, we now know the following professionals have got extended to flexion type swings. So on the left, this is his actual data using hack motion. As you can see, it's running very linear lines, so his left wrist is very stable. And then down towards impact, it's getting more flexion. The left wrist may not be so stable compared to other swings. But still have the same distinct movement of the extension deflection towards impact. So if you'd like to learn to get a stable extension to flexion style swing, you need to match up a few things. A common fault is overloading while at the top of the swing. This makes it difficult to get more flexion on the downswing. These two training aids may prevent from overloading at the top of your swing. The amount of flexion required will need to match up with your grip and how much shafting you're producing at impact. Typically with this swing, you would see more of a draw shaped shot as a stock shot. So typically the miss shot with this swing method is seen as a high block right. And then a low left shot. So for more information feel free to contact me, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. Later guys.